One theorem on circle never failed to fascinate me. It is called the central angle theorem. It is about the relationship between the central angle and its inscribed angle. If these two angles subtended or intercepted the same arc on the circle, the central angle is always twice the included angle. Let's see how it is derived and let us check some of its applications. The central angle alpha intercepted the arc AB. From the circumference of the circle, the inscribed angle theta also intercepted the arc AB. The relationship between the two, the central angle is always twice the inscribed angle. Now let us prove this theorem. Connect C to O. We have an isosceles triangle COA. It is isosceles because CO is equal to OA. These two angles are equal. Let us call these angles theta 1. Extend CO. Let's call this angle alpha 1. This angle beta 1. 2 theta 1 plus beta 1 is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute beta 1. That is 180 degrees minus alpha 1. Cancel 180 degrees. Transpose alpha 1 to the left. That is equal to 2 theta 1. Now from this isosceles triangle COB, we have this alpha 2, beta 2, and the two equal angles, let us call it theta 2. 2 theta 2 plus beta 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute beta 2, that is 180 degrees minus alpha 2. Cancel 180 degrees. Transpose alpha 2 to the left. That is equal to 2 theta 2. Now, we have alpha 1 plus alpha 2. Now, we can factor 2. In the right side, theta 1 plus theta 2. Now, from the figure, alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to alpha. And theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to theta. That is our theorem. Central angle and inscribed angle. In a case where the line rays of alpha and theta cross each other, but both intercepted the same arc, still alpha is equal to 2 theta. Why so? Connect C to O. We have this isosceles triangle COB. Let us call these two equal angles theta 1. Extend CO. Let us call this angle alpha 1. 2 theta 1 plus this angle which is equal to 180 degrees minus alpha 1 is 180 degrees. Cancel 180 degrees. Transpose alpha 1 to the left. That is equal to 2 theta 1. From this isosceles triangle COA, these two equal angles, let us call theta 2. This is alpha 2. Now, 2 theta 2 plus alpha 2 is equal to 180 degrees. We have theta 2 equal to theta plus theta 1 plus alpha 2 which is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of alpha and alpha 1. Cancel 180 degrees. Transpose alpha and al plus alpha 1 to the left. What remains to the right is 2 times theta plus theta 1. Alpha plus 2 theta 1 is equal to 2 theta plus 2 theta 1. Cancel 2 theta 1. We have alpha is equal to 2 theta. We have this circle circumscribing a triangle ABC. The question is, what is the radius of the circle? Now, we have this central angle alpha and inscribed angle theta. Both intercepted the same arc. Therefore, alpha is equal to 2 theta. Now, let us bisect angle alpha. We have this theta and theta. Because this triangle is isosceles, it follows that side C is also bisected. Now, to derive the length of the radius of the circle, let us write the formula for the area of the triangle, one-half 
AB sine of theta. From this right triangle, sine of theta is equal to opposite C over 2 over the hypotenuse R. So, sine of theta is equal to C all over 2R. Now, substitute that to the area of the triangle. Sine theta is C all over 2R. Cross multiply R to the left. To the right is the product of the sides A, B, and C. All over, we have in the denominator 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. Times, cross multiply area A, B, C to the right side of the equation, that is over area of the triangle ABC. That is the length of the radius of the circumscribing circle. These two chords intersect each other at E. For these dimensions, what is the length X? To do that, let us connect A to D and B to C. At vertex A, we have this angle called phi. This angle intercepted the arc CD. This angle at vertex B also intercepted the same arc CD. Therefore, it is also equal to phi. We have this angle at vertex D called theta. Theta intercepted the arc AB. At vertex C, we have also an angle that intercepted the same arc AB. It is also equal to theta. Let us call this angle beta. We can solve x by ratio and proportion because triangle AED is similar to triangle BEC. How to do ratio and proportion? Simple. Let us take the opposite of theta over the opposite of V from this triangle AED. What is the opposite of theta? X. What is the opposite of phi? 12. Is equal to from this triangle BEC. The opposite of theta is 10 over the opposite of phi is 8. We have the value of X. These two second lines cross each other at point E at an angle of theta. For this given dimensions, what is the value of x? To solve for x, connect A to C and B to D. Let us call this angle alpha and this angle beta. Angle alpha intercepted arc BC. Now this angle at point D intercepted the same arc BC. It is also alpha. Angle beta intercepted the arc AD. And this angle at point C also intercepted the same arc AB. This is also equal to beta. These two angles are equal to 180 degrees minus alpha. Let us call it phi. Now, this triangle AEC is similar to triangle ADB. How to solve for x? Let us do ratio and proportion. Opposite of phi, all over, opposite of beta. From this triangle, what is the opposite of phi? We have 8 plus x over, opposite of beta, 10 is equal to. From this triangle, opposite of phi, we have 10 plus 12 over, opposite of beta, 8. We have the value of x. Circle C1 of radius capital R is tangent internally to circle C2 of radius small letter R. We have these two diameters of circle C1. For these given dimensions, what is the area of the shaded region? How to do it? Now, let us create these two lines. These two angles intercepted the same arc. Therefore, they are equal. Let us call both angles theta. Now, we have these two right triangles. Dimensions, R-9. 
This is R minus 5. This is R minus 5. And this is the radius of the large circle. Now, tangent of theta for this triangle. Opposite R minus 5 over adjacent R is equal to from this triangle, opposite R minus 9 all over adjacent R minus 5. Solve for R, you will get R25 cm. Now, 2R is equal to 9 plus 2 is small letter R. Substitute 25, we get the value of small letter R, 20.5 cm. The shaded area is simply equal to the difference of the two circles. We have the pi capital R squared minus pi small letter R squared. Substitute 25 to capital R and 20.5 to small letter R. We have this area of the shaded region. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video.